Okay, here we go, no eye crew. That's McGreevy in the tricolor shorts and McGrandles in the plain green. Massive, significant height difference between McGreevy and McGrandles here, Pete. McGreevy's huge, very, very huge, tall. very pronounced difference. I've not seen much of McGreevy, but I've seen McGrandles before. A very, very good technician. Now, McGreevy, he's a, he's a real baby-faced assassin. He doesn't look intimidating until he takes his shirt off and steps over the top rope without barely having to push it down. Good low kick from McGrandles there, very strong. Both guys very composed, jab from McGreevy. Low kick from McGrandles. Walk down knee from McGrandles there. Low kick from McGrandles. Return with a teep from uh, McGreevy. Now McGreevy, even though he's the longer man, he likes to push in, he likes to fight short because he wants to land that elbow. Both guys sussing each other out. Some big power come from McG McGrandles straight away in the first start of the round. Good double low kick from McGrandles there, followed by a teep from McGreevy. Faking the, knee the teep and the jab from McGreevy there, keeping it at that long range. Neither guy's phased by each other. McGreevy feels very l long and wiry there in that clinch work. McGrandall's executing his head just right under the chin to make it, um, make it hard for uh, McGreevy to see what's going on down below. It's funny to watch McGreevy, he looks, he looks kind of half asleep. You know, he looks like he's not really alert and then he'll hit people with something really telling. Yeah, he's got a great poker face there, Pete. Like you say, he's not, he's not showing that anything's hurting him, but I know them shots are powerful because we can hear that slap from here. And it's off. With him being orthodox and McGrandall's being southpaw, it's always tricky fighting a southpaw fighter. Good so luck. What's the major weapons? What are you looking for with a southpaw fighter? You need to keep your foot on the outside of their foot and you're looking for a straight right hand down the centre and a left hook I always like to use to throw. And, uh, and obviously a right body kick, it's hard to get the left because they've always got that lean back. Well, those lead legs are just seeming to cancel each other out. All the action's happening off of the back leg. Yeah, pretty much so, Pete. Obviously, all weapons can be thrown, but the majority of the weapons coming from the back leg. Well, just as I said that, McGreevy stepped in a tee off his lead leg, so <laughs> maybe I'll shut my mouth. McGrandall seems that maybe he's the more powerful of the two in this one. He like, does look physically stronger. Well, he's, he's thicker. He's denser in the legs, denser in the torso. Doesn't seem to be uh, upset McGreevy though, he keep, he's keeping his calm and he's uh, throwing his shots. You can't push McGrandles away, he wants to be in there. Yeah, he was taking up half of the ring there, trying to get some space already yeah. before the bell even went. Good teep from McGreevy there, from the back leg. Again, another good teep. Low kick from McGrandles. Very strong, I can see the redden on the leg of McGreevy from them low kicks from McGrandles. Doubling that low kick again. He's looking to execute them long legs. Just a little bit out of distance there, McGrandles. So McGrandles has changed his stance and gone after that lead leg. And now back to Southpaw. Yeah. You can see that reddening and you can see that's working on that low kick. Big hook there from McGrandles, just missing the chin of McGreevy. Return by a body kick from McGreevy. Oh, big body shot there from McGrandles. Just slipped round the back though. McGreevy locking that clinch up there. There's McGrandles getting that head right under the chin so McGreevy can't see what's going on down below. Both guys struggling to get the combinations off inside that clinch work. Nobody could really establish any dominance in the clinch yet. They're kind of cancelling one another out. Definitely, they both are uh, cancelling each of his work out there, Pete. Big hook there from McGrandles. And then look, finish with a low kick. Oh, good boxing combination from McGrandles there. He's looking to take the chin off McGreevy here. Oh, those were great punches. McG McGreevy didn't even wince, didn't even change his face. Yeah, his poker face is phenomenal. Good turn from McGrandles there. 
He just wants to manhandle him, doesn't he? McGreevy's got his head under there in the clinch, but he's took it out. Good knee from McGrandles there. Return by a good knee from McGreevy. Low kick just misses that leg of McGreevy there. Good tee from McGrandles. Working that leg again there, McGrandles. It's looking very red, that red that outside leg of McGreevy now. Knee from McGreevy. Good knees from McGreevy there. Find yeah, very evenly matched in the clinch. Yes, definitely, Pete. McGreevy just seemed to find them knees there, though. Good punch there from McGrandles and teeped him back. Good over and under there by McGrandles. McGrandles is looking. Oh, body shot from McGrandles. Oh. That hurt McGreevy. That must body have kick. Hurt oh, big, big body shots from McGrandles there. And he gets a count for Ice Stew holding the referee. And holding hard to pull him off there. McGrandles was dying to get yeah, stuck in. Yeah, he's hungry for this. Way. Definitely. You can see he's ready to pounce on him already. McGrandles is going to get the goal for the stoppage. Oh, saved by the bell. One a little bit late after the bell. Here we go in round three. Teep from McGrandles. Knee from McGreevy. Teep from McGreevy. Kick from McGrandles. Teep from McGrandles. Knee from McGreevy. Big knee from McGrandles there. Pulls the head down to McGreevy. Swoop from McGreevy. That was slick, looked effortless. Big elbow from McGrandles there, just misses the chin of McGreevy. McGreevy's pushing the pace this round, Pete. He knows he's got some catching up to do. This is what I expected from him. He was gonna wake up in round three. Unfortunately, he's now a point down. McGrandles going, oh, big elbow from McGrandles there, across the chin of McGreevy. That landed flush. Grandel's looking to take that chin off of McGreevy there. Good knees. Big knees from McGreevy there though, scoring well. He's just digging him in, digging him in. Yeah, he's wearing him down. Grandel's just locking him up in that clinch work. Strong body on McGrandel's though. He's digging those well. Very strong sweep from McGrandel's there. Little disheartened there from McGreevy. Big knee from McGrandel's again. Elbow through the middle from McGrandel's. McGrandall seems happy to accept this kind of clinch fight though. He seems pretty comfortable being in there. Yeah, he seems a strong, strong guy. And like you say, his centre of gravity is a lot lower, so he's happy to sit there. Big knee from both guys there. Elbow from both guys there. Team straight to the chin from McGreevy. Body shot from McGrandall's there. That's a money shot for him. We heard the crack from that. That was the oh, same big punch knee. that put him down in the second. Yeah. McGrandall's pulling the head down to McGreevy. McGreevy walking down with the elbow. Sweep from McGrandall's. A little cheeky knee as he's falling down there. Well, that's the downside of McGreevy's sight. He's got that big long neck, so when he gets his hands on it, he really can't pull the head down with ease. McGrandall's looking for that body again, I'm sure. Big knee there from McGrandall's and locks up that clinch. McGreevy going for the sweep but not succeeding. Knee from McGreevy. Not much activity going in that clinch work there. Both guys are tired. It's been a big round for both. Grandel's just struggling to get that combination off there. Big elbow through the centre though. Knee from McGreevy. Knee from McGrandles. Sweep from McGrandles. Both guys falling down though. Does that make it a no score? Even yeah. though you initiated the. There's a no score. That big body shot again there from McGrandles. That's the last 10 second clacker going there. Both guys looking tired. They've used a lot of energy this round. Good round from both guys in round three there. McGrandles is going to pick his pace up now. He, he means business. Good teep from McGreevy. Keep him very composed. He's just working that front leg with a the teep there. McGreevy upsetting the balance of McGrandles. Body shot from McGreevy. Double jab from there. McGrandall's there. Knee from McGreevy. 
jab and teep there from McGreevy. Now McGreevy's coming on strong, and it looks like McGrandles hasn't quite got the snap in his punches that he had earlier on. Yeah, I don't know if that clinch works wore him down or not, Pete, but we'll sharp see in the later round. McGreevy's the one pushing forward now. And McGreevy's just knocking the air out of his body. That snappy little teep, a short knee. Yeah, but it was a nice little body shot from McGrandles there, though, as he walked in to try and come in a clinch. McGrandles looking for the elbow there, just missed the chin of McGreevy. Body shot again there from McGrandles. Body shot again from McGrandles. There's just not as much snap in that shot, though. Good knee from McGreevy there. Knee from McGreevy, knee from McGrandles. Lovely sweep from McGrandles there. Puts his weight on him as he's getting up yeah, there. Yeah, that was a that was a very move. Yeah, yeah. cheeky little trick. Cheeky little trick of it, just taking that wind out, the extra energy. McGrandles smothering the face of McGreevy in the clinch there. Oh, big right hand there from McGrandles. McGreevy just missing the chin of McGrandles with the elbow there. Oh, good right hand there from McGreevy. Sweep from McGrandles. Now, they seem very evenly matched the way they tie up in the clinch, but McGrandles has been getting the better of the sweeps, huh? Yeah, he just looks a little bit more strong around the, the body area. And maybe he's the stronger of the, of the men. But then McGreevy's executing the knees very, very well. Good knee from McGrandles there. McGreevy's looking tired now. Both guys haven't got as much snap in them shots at the moment. Well, these clinch fights, they're really wearing. It takes yeah. a lot out of the arms, right? It's like doing a weight session on them arms. Good elbow from both guys there. Knee from McGrandles around the back of McGreevy. Seems to be a clinch match now, Pete. Both guys tired. We're falling in that clinch. Big knee there from McGreevy down the centre. That's a 10 second buzzer going for round four. Well, as much as it's a hard place to be, the clinch, it's also a place Good. you can lean your weight on the opponent and take a little rest. Good body kick there to finish the round from McGrandles. Definitely. Both fighters showing the respect there in the fifth and final round. Big knee from McGreevy. Straight in that clinch again, Pete. Knee from both guys. Knee for knee, tip for tat. Big knee straight through the centre there from McGreevy. McGrandles looking to try and execute that elbow. Knee from McGreevy. Knee from McGrandles. Now McGreevy knee. again seems to be getting the better of these knee exchanges. He's just getting more knees off by virtue of length. Yeah, he's just smothering it. McGrandles working, scoring straight through the centre with them long knees. Elbow from McGrandles there straight through the centre. But both guys very elbow savvy. They're not letting anybody fold one over and make a cut. Yeah, they both got a lot of good arm control going on there. There's the elbow, elbow slipping over, but there's nothing prolifically coming in massively strong. There we go again from McGrandles just rolling that arm over. But it's not a massive prolific shot to cause that, that so cut. Said just had his hands on it enough to redirect it, take the sting out of it. Now this kind of action, if you're not a connoisseur of Muay Thai, if you're not really in the clinch, sometimes it looks like there's not a lot going on. But there's loads of salty, right? Big like sweep. That's not an accident. No, that's a big sweep there from uh, McGrandles. It looked like it disheartened McGreevy. It took him uh, a little bit of time to get himself off the canvas. Good knee straight through the centre of McGrandles there, though. Elbow from both guys exchanged. Kick from McGreevy. Kick back from uh, McGrandles. But both guys being very clever, very conscious of the elbow there. They're being really conscientious about the way they tie up. Okay, McGrandles working back on that leg there. Elbow from McGreevy, that was a nice one. A little bit more cleaner. Knee straight through the centre from McGreevy. Big elbow, just misses the chin of McGrandles. Those elbows are starting to break through for McGreevy now. Yeah, he's starting to get that range now. Not much happening in that clinch. Oh, there we go, a knee from McGreevy. Another knee from McGreevy there. He's just scoring nicely with them little knees there, pottering up. Not enough action going on for the referee. No. He wants to see more. McGrandles needs to let them hands go, in my uh, my opinion, Pete. He was How much is left in the arms after all that clinching, though? Yeah, they will be fatigued. But he needs to bite down that gum shield and let them hands go. 
and that's what caused the upset in the round the other round when he got the eight count good knees from McGreevy there sweep again from McGrandles but he didn't execute it down knee from McGreevy straight for the center there good little scoring points knee from McGrandles McGrandles looking for that sweep both guys arms are fatigued there yeah, he wants yeah. that body punch, but there just wasn't the snap yeah. on it that time. Them arms are burnt out. Knee, good knees from both guys. Body punch from McGreevy. Body kick from McGreevy. Elbow straight through the center from McGreevy, followed by a knee. Followed by another knee from McGreevy. And another knee from McGreevy. Returned by McGrandles. Wow, what a fight. Both guys gave it their all there, Pete. And your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Liam McGrandle.